They're making me do it again. My producers have brought forth the crazies of TikTok, a place that is the home of apparently an enormous amount of mental anguish, discontent. It's just, it's good times all the time at TikTok. So let the torture begin. This video is brought to you, sadly, by ExpressVPN. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I'm Cody. Pronouns E M R R Z Z M Z Z Z, or really any neo pronouns that aren't Z her hers. I am a white transmasculine femme non-binary, temporarily mostly able-bodied, neurodivergent, obsessive compulsive, chronically ill, culturally Jewish, Unitarian Universalist, non-monogamous, demi-low romantic, gray demi bisexual, survivor of acute and complex trauma, millennial, and cat parent in mental health recovery. Does she introduce herself that way at parties? Sorry, does EMIers is introduce Jimjibujis this way at parties? I'm trying to do the pronoun thing. I'm having a tough time. Okay, so let's go through this list a little bit. You're temporarily mostly able-bodied. So like, you, what does that mean? Like you, you stubbed your toe this morning or what? I'll have you know, I stubbed my toe last week and I only cried for 20 minutes. So some of these things are actual medical like diagnoses, right? Obsessive compulsive disorder is an actual medical diagnosis. Chronically ill is sad. Culturally Jewish, I'm going to go not smudge. My culture is not a costume. Non-monogamous and uh, demi-low romantic. Demi low, like you like Demi Lovato? Yeah, pansexual. It's hilarious. That that <laughs> I got nothing. Cat parent was the thing that explained it. You don't need all the rest. Cat parent. My girlfriend and I were talking about hypothetically, if we got married, would you take my last name? Obviously, no, we're feminists. That's not what we're trying to do. But then I was like, okay, so you're going to keep your mom's, your last name, which is actually, that's, that's actually your dad's last name. So you could take your mom's last name, but that's actually her dad's last name and it goes on and on it goes and i realized there's no such thing as a female last name like they just simply don't exist because patriarchy okay so let me begin with i think his girlfriend lives in canada she goes to another school i don't believe him that this is a conversation that happened in real life as he talks about being a feminist on his flamingo sheets so I, I don't believe him that he has a girlfriend. Liar! And the reason that the woman generally took the father's name is so the child would take the father's name, which was important because you can establish the maternal lineage of a child by the fact that the child was in the mom's body. But it's harder to establish the paternal lineage of a child without the last name being applied to the kid. That's the actual reason why paternal names became a thing. Patriarchy. What do you think is the number oh, one no. contributing factor to global warming? Agriculture? The fashion industry? Uh, something else? <laughs> I'll tell you a secret. It's the U.S. military. The U.S. military is the world's largest consumer of oil. It's the world's biggest polluter. Our armed forces create 750,000 tons of toxic waste every year. Depleted uranium. Jet fuel. Pesticides. Lead and other chemicals, too. Do you think it's a coincidence that the military emissions are often overlooked by climate studies? The Kyoto Protocol! That's why. <laughs> there are actually very few things we can do that are as environmentally catastrophic as war. I think we all can see the irony that we fight these wars in order to get oil. But if we didn't fight these wars, we wouldn't need the oil. Not as much. Uh, I will admit to you, that watching this person spastically dance while uttering Noam Chomsky talking points is almost hypnotically bad. It is almost hypnotic. I would watch like a full hour of that. Would you not? Come on, come on, be honest. Watching this person gyrate, like Vincent D'Onofrio having their body occupied by an alien while explaining silliness about how we fight wars for oil, which is strange because we didn't take any of the oil from Iraq. I was amused by that, I, I will admit. I, I found that wildly entertaining. I'm a big fan of that one. Uh-oh, okay, here we go. Here's an abortion one. Life doesn't begin at conception. When does it begin? It doesn't matter, Brandon. It's never mattered. At no point ever has it mattered, whether it's just a clump of cells or a fully-fledged person already accepted to Harvard University. It has never, ever mattered when life begins. The point is that a person cannot use another person's body without their permission. By forcing women to share their bodies with fetuses to keep them alive, you are actually suggesting that fetuses should have more rights than any other person in the world. And that people with uteruses should have less rights. 
If you want a fetus to have the same rights as other people, I hate to break it to you, but you'd be pro-choice. Um, okay, so question. How did the baby get in there? Did the baby just randomly attach itself to you? This actually is a, a, a fairly frequent example that's brought up by the philosopher Judith Thompson. She suggests the, the quote-unquote famous violinist problem. Okay, The famous violinist problem is a famous violinist is hit by a bus and you are sedated. And when you awake, the famous violinist is linked to you by an IV that is keeping them alive. Are you allowed to pull out the IV? Okay, so there are a few problems with this. One, the famous violinist is not your child. If the famous violinist were your child, pretty strong moral case, no. And that does change based on the relationship with the child. Two, what if you took the action that led to the person being linked to you, which is generally the case in abortion, right? Leaving aside rape or incest. In the vast majority of cases, people who get pregnant do so because they took a voluntary action that led to the pregnancy. That is a predictable risk of having sex, regardless of whether you're using birth control. You know the risk that you are going to end up being impregnated. That young man is how babies are made. The question is not even whether you should decouple the baby from the uterus in most of these cases. In most of these cases, you're talking about a violent act. So if you had the violinist problem where you are linked via IV with the person, there is even a difference morally between you plucking the IV out of your arm and you getting up and stabbing the person in the head, dismembering them and flushing them down the toilet. We'll get to more of this torture, but first, using the internet without ExpressVPN, it's like walking your dog in public without securing the dog on a leash. Most of the time, you'll probably be fine, but what if one day your dog wanders a bit too far and gets dog-napped by somebody from TikTok? Everybody needs a VPN to protect your online activity. It's very, very important, because here's the thing. Every time you connect to an unencrypted network, cafes, hotels, airports, etc., your online data is not secure. Any hacker on the same network can gain access to and steal your personal data. We're talking like passwords, financial details, etc. Hackers can make up to $1,000 per person selling personal information on the dark web. Why use ExpressVPN? Because it's great. They create a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so hackers can't steal your sensitive data. It would take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get past ExpressVPN's encryption. It works on all of your devices, your phones, laptops, tablets, and more. You can stay secure wherever you are. Fire up that app, you click one button, and it gets protected. Let me show you how it works, right? So here I go. I open my ExpressVPN app. It says, not connected, okay? Doink. Connected. Protected. ExpressVPN is just that easy. The ease of use, the protection, that is what I am seeking from my VPN. You should do the same. Secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash Ben. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash Ben. You can get an extra three months for free. Expressvpn.com slash Ben. So I'm driving home from a chiropractor appointment. I never actually had it because I left. Because here's the deal. I show up, I'm in the parking lot, call him up. Oh, you don't have to call us ahead of time. Okay. So I go in. No signs up about masks. No one's wearing masks. I got mine on, but okay. But then I see it. An advertisement for somebody running for the local school board taped to the reception desk so everybody can see it. Bullet points are constitutional rights, freedom of choice, blah, blah, blah. Taped to the desk at a reception of a freaking doctor's office. I mean, okay, chiropractor, they're not really doctors. But still, what the hell? Why am I... Why, why do I have to make the decision to leave the f***ing office because you are an idiot? I am so f***ing tired of this. F*** you. Stop, don't, come back. My favorite thing is that he's super pissed off that it says things like, there's a, for a candidate, and it says constitutional rights on there, and I had to leave. I hate the Constitution. <laughs> that was the most offensive thing on the poster? I mean, really? Like, that's what drove you out of the out of the office? Interesting. But you know what? He exercised his, his business judgment and left, and I'm sure there will be somebody else who is willing to take his space. I am wearing the pants. He's wearing the skirt. We're both gay. He's pregnant. I have two girlfriends. It's 2021. Okay, this is like a really f***ed up algebra problem. I'm gonna need that again. He's wearing the skirt. We're both gay. He's pregnant. Okay, stop. That's the giveaway. Person in the purple hair is a woman. He is not a he. He's a woman. How do I know? Because women are the ones who get pregnant. Oh, man, you can't say that. So here you have a woman who is saying that she is wearing pants, which many women do. And he, meaning she, is wearing a skirt. She is gay. The other one is also gay, so that sort of begs the question as to how the pregnancy occurred. I assume through some, well, I mean, I'm not going to make any assumptions. Not, not from her, right? I mean, clearly. She has two other girlfriends, 
but this isn't one of them because she's designating this one a he. So she has three girlfriends, but one of them calls herself a man. I understand everything now. So if, if the question was how many women are in this equation, the answer is four. If the question is how long until our civilization collapses, the answer is zero. Yeah, I, no, can, no, no, can't, no. No. Hello, lovelies. I just want to talk about people misgendering. Um, it's okay if you misgender me. Just make sure you don't put your hands on me or you might get hurt. Good. I mean, honestly, like more power to this human male. Hey, now. Good. Seriously, good. Can this be our standard from now on? Like, this seems like an actual tolerant transgender person, right? I mean, like, if you misgender me, you make a mistake and you offend me or use a biological pronoun, which is not actually misgendering. That's just using actual normal human language the way it's typically used. If you do that, as long as you don't actually put your hands on me, I'm good. This is like one of the more sane people we're seeing on TikTok right there. That was horrifying in every conceivable way. We are all stupider for having watched it. I hope that you enjoyed that more than I did experiencing it in real time. I feel as though each time we do one of these videos, the number of brain cells in my head decreases and it's it's exponentially increasing. So I'm not sure how many more of these we can crank out before I lose full brain function and end up babbling into my gruel like the president of the United States. But Oh, he thinks he's running. I'll keep bringing them to you. If you keep watching them, They'll continue torturing me. That's pretty much the calculus here. So leave a comment below, like, subscribe, if you wish to see my producers continue to subject me to cruel and unusual punishment from TikTok. You people are all crazy. You